Welcome. In this video, we're going to explore a special class of differential equations, and these are called exact differential equations. This class of ODEs is generally nonlinear, so remember what nonlinear means. If you forgot, I invite you to go back to a previous video where we talk about classification of ODEs. In addition, for exact differential equations, their general solution is usually in an implicit form. That is, it is, it is expressed as some function of x and y, and it is equal to some constant c. That is, we do not have y, the dependent variable, being equal to something on the right-hand side. So this is what we call implicit form. So to start this conversation, let's begin with a function f of x, y, and we'll say that it is equal to y squared plus x, y, and that is equal to c. And let's differentiate it with respect to x. Doing so will give us this result over here. In general, the total derivative of a function f is equal to df by dx is equal to the partial of x with respect to x plus the partial of f with respect to y multiplied by the derivative of y with respect to x. So this is the total derivative of a function f. So now, if the differential equation is of the form partial of f with respect to x plus the partial of f with respect to y multiplied by dy by dx, and if that is equal to zero, then we say that it is exact. And this is indeed what we have up here. So we see that we have taken the total derivative with respect to x, and the right-hand side is equal to 0. So we have an exact differential equation. Now we'll see where we might encounter these later in this video. So if we encounter an ODE of the form y plus 2y plus x multiplied by y prime, and that is equal to 0. And we suspect that it might be exact. What we need to do is test for exactness. That is, we want to check if y is equal to the partial of f with respect to x. And we want to check if this is equal to so we'll say 2y plus x if that is equal to the partial of f with respect to y. When solving ODEs, we generally don't know what the solution is. That is, we don't know what f is. For an ODE of the form m of xy, plus n of xy multiplied by y prime is equal to 0. It is exact if the partial of m with respect to y is equal to the partial of n with respect to x. And this is what we call our test for exactness. And in our case, that is indeed the case. So if we call this equation 1, let's take the partial of, so this will be m, and this will be n. So the partial of m with respect to y is equal to 1, 
and the partial of n with respect to x is equal to 1 as well. So therefore, it is exact. Therefore, if we encounter an ODE, which we may, might suspect is an exact ODE, first we must test for exactness, and two, if it is exact, we set m to be equal to the partial of f with respect to x, and n to be the partial of f with respect to y. And we integrate to find f of x, y. Now this will be best uh, understood by an example. First, I want to tell you where exact differential equations might be encountered. As a fluid dynamicist, I'm going to take an example from fluid dynamics. So we have a concept called streamlines in fluid mechanics. And streamlines are lines within the fluid that are tangent to the velocity vector. So we might have the velocity vector here, like this, and over here at this point, the velocity vector is over here. So at every point, the streamlines are tangent to the velocity vector. And here, let's just call this our y-coordinate and x-coordinate. And what we do is that we call these streamlines by usually psi1, psi2, psi3. So as we know, the velocity vector can be decomposed into its components. So the x component is u, and the y component we call it v. So we can say that for a streamline, dy by dx is equal to v over u. And what we're going to propose is that along a streamline, there is some quantity, which we'll call psi, that does not change. So that quantity is conserved. conserved. Mm -hmm. So we can say that the differential of psi is equal to d psi by dx multiplied by dx plus d psi by dy multiplied by dy. And all of that is equal to zero. So this is what we're proposing. Along a streamline, we have the ratio of the velocity components v over u is just equal to the slope of the streamline. And then we have a quantity psi whose differential along the streamline is equal to zero. And what we see here, that this is precisely what we saw earlier on with the total derivative. If we divide that by x, dx, we have d psi by dx is equal to the partial of psi with respect to x plus the partial of psi with respect to y multiplied by dy over dx, which is equal to zero. And recall, this is what we called m, and this is what we called n. And this is of the form of an exact differential equation. So you're going to see these exact differential equations in problems in thermal fluids, maybe in some electromagnetism, where along a certain path, a quantity remains the same. 
So let's see if this actually makes any physical sense. So solving this system of equation over here, if we isolate for dy over dx, we find that dy by dx must be equal to v over u, as we know it, and it must be equal to the negative of the partial of psi with respect to x over d psi by dy. So we can say that u is equal to d psi by dy and v is equal to the negative of d psi by dx. And for those of you who have already taken a course in fluid mechanics, this will look familiar to you. So now let's just check to see if that actually makes any physical sense. So you don't need to know the details of this, but for those of you who have taken fluid mechanics before, we know that for an incompressible flow, the partial of u with respect to x plus the partial of v with respect to y is equal to zero. And this is what we know as conservation of mass. So again, you don't need to know the details of this right now if this, this is the first time that you see this. But what we're doing here is just we're making sure that this makes physical sense. So we have expressions for u and v. So what we're going to do is see if these expressions actually make sense in the, con in the context of incompressible flow. So we're going to take the partial of u with respect to x, which will be d squared psi by dx or di x, di y. And the partial of v with respect to y will be equal to di squared psi divided by di x, di y. So we can see that conservation of mass actually holds for our definition of a streamline. So that is to say, in an incompressible fluid, there is some quantity, psi, which we call the stream function, that is constant along certain paths. So what we will say is that the differential or the total derivative of this stream function does not change and therefore it is equal to zero along the streamline. So this is where we might encounter the concept of an exact differential equation.